Hi guys, so I really wanted to make a video about finding yourself, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to talk about this stuff for a little bit. Hopefully you enjoy it, hopefully you like it, hopefully you share this video with everybody and leave a comment about what you think about it, you know, but I just want to talk about this journey that most of us go on in life of self-discovery, trying to find yourself. And for me in my life, I've never really felt like I was comfortable being who I was and you know not only that but I wouldn't know how to identify myself I wouldn't know how to label myself I think everybody um, has words that they commonly use to describe other people different groups of individuals and and then you know everybody seems to have their place that they fit into and for me this sucks because I've always felt like I would never fit in with anybody completely you know every once in a while I feel comfortable with people and I would like people for different reasons and I would enjoy people being different and unique and you know I would relate to people on a personal level and I would feel comfortable with them and then all of a sudden I would realize that wait a minute that person is the cool person and I'm not cool crap I gotta I gotta stop hanging out with them because I'm not like them you know I think that fundamentally like comparing things and separating things in their own category is how we really identify things. It's the relationship between stuff, you know, that really makes a difference in what one thing is versus another. Like I know that a tree is different than a rock because they are different qualities, you know, and each one of us has a unique story, unique qualities to us, and um, that's what makes us who we are is the differences. I try to figure out who I am based on what I label other people as. I think that the more people that you know, the bigger the pool of people that you um, can draw from, you know, as far as identifying who they are, I think the better you can understand yourself because you know what you're not. And I think that's the challenge for me and that's probably the challenge for you is to figure out what is it about you that makes you different than everybody else. And I honestly believe that if you want to be somebody different, if there's an image of something that you've always wanted to be, you know, like your dream, you know, life, the dream version of yourself, you know, I think that really what you have to do is you have to just jump into it and become that person, or at least at the beginning, pretend like you're that person. You might feel like you're faking it. You might feel like you don't really know what you're doing. And you know what, that's probably true. But if who you are is essentially who you believe you are, then over time, after you start faking it for so long, you're gonna start believing your own lie that you tell yourself that you're this person that you've always wanted to be. And suddenly, it's not a lie anymore. Suddenly, that's actually who you are. And isn't that fascinating that we always are trying to be like somebody else instead of really loving ourselves and accepting who we are right now and not changing. That's why sometimes when people say, just be yourself, you're like, no, I'm not just going to be myself. I've been myself for so long and I haven't gotten anything that I've wanted out of my life by being myself. I want all that other stuff that requires me to be somebody different. That's what I'm going to do is be different. It could be that you already have an idea in mind of the person that you would like to be. You have a version of your ideal self. Now you're just trying to get there in your life. This actually makes me wonder if maybe who you are is not just, you know, the person that you believe you are today, but maybe who you are is also a combination of that and who you want to be in the future. Maybe it's not you trying to find yourself. It's you trying to become something that you want to be. I would also like to add something very important, which is that the difference between you and everybody else is your own experience in life. So not only is who you are, who you believe you are, but it's also the real subjective experience that you go through every day. You know, I, I ask myself, you know, what is different about me than somebody else? What makes me, me, and somebody else them? Well, it's the, the things that I know, it's the things that I've done in my life, it's the things that I've basically just experienced. That's just the one word that sums it up is experienced. You know, there's certain things that I actually don't know right now that are completely unknown to me that I've never experienced before, but somebody else has. You have, somebody else has seen things or done things that I've never seen, never done, don't even know about them existing right now. 
because I didn't experience them. And that is what makes me different than you. That's what makes you different than me, is the difference between the things that we have experienced. So maybe who you are, essentially, like the self, is your experience, which is, you know, what you are thinking, what you're doing, what you believe, what you like, what you want, you know, just everything that is something about you. I mean, that is you. And by the way, you know, we get caught up in life and hearing things that other people say and, you know, other people putting on labels to other people and sometimes you start falling for that and believing, you know, that everything you hear from somebody else is true, you know, so sometimes people say things about you that you believe are true and maybe that's not really who you are, maybe they're just wrong, that's not you. You know, and you start believing it because you can't separate your own thoughts from theirs. So my tip for you is to go by yourself for a little while, think about who you are because when you can separate your thoughts from somebody else's and really understand what you believe, what your opinions are, and just forget about what other people think and just focus on who you think that you are, and then that is who you are. Because maybe the question that you're trying to answer it's not who am I, you know, when we talk about finding yourself, but maybe the real question you're trying to ask is, how can I be who I want to be? And I think that's really what my journey in life has been all about, is me always wanting to be something more, because who I am right now isn't enough. And the one final thing that I'll say is, it's important for you to continue to try to live a better life, okay? But you also have to be who you are right now and understand who that person is. That way you can love yourself the way that you are today, not who you want to be in the future. Because if you start you know, focusing too much on who you want to be, who you think you're going to be in the future, that might not happen. And you know, the, the separation between who you are right now and who you could be in the future is kind of far. And if you're living in the future, you know, when that time comes that you come back down to reality and see who you are for real, you know, you might have a lot of negative emotions and you might not like who you see. So you have to really learn who you are right now. What makes you different? What's the true self? What's Be realistic about it and find who that person is and just love that person unconditionally. Just no matter what. Just, just accept who you are. Get to know who you are. You know, become the best version of yourself, which is the person that you are today. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about this because it was on my mind, and um, I hope that you like it, I hope you share it, I hope you just leave a comment. I know that I didn't really prepare for this video well, but um, hopefully it, it turns out good after I edit it. I love you guys, and I hope you subscribe, comment, like, and share. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in my next video.